Hello and welcome to another review. Today we're showing you the Doro Phone Easy 332 GSM. This phone is ideal for the elderly people who just need a basic and easy to use mobile phone. Uh, the standby time on this is around 660 hours uh, with a continuous talk time of up to 240 minutes. Uh, the phone itself has a large keypad as you can see, clear and simple menus which we will show you uh, in a minute. It is a coloured display with a display size of 27 by 37 uh, millimeters with a resolution of 96 by 128. So it's a nice display right here, nice coloured display. It has in large text for easy dialing and messaging. Also you got a large uh, font on your keypad and also your numbers are enlarged as well. It is nice and loud, which uh, the loud sound is plus 30 decibels. It's got a speakerphone and vibrating function as well. Other feature to include with this phone is it comes with a charging cradle. So you put your phone in there to charge up. Simply plug the charger into the back and put your phone into the charging cradle. It also comes with a charger, obviously. It also comes with a hands-free kit, which you just plug in onto the side here. And you can also plug your charger directly into the phone if you didn't want to use the charging cradle. Uh, some of the dedicated keys on this phone is you've got one ear for easy unlocking, which is a really, really nice touch. So if your phone locks, because you can set up in the menus to have your phone keys locked in a specific time. So if your phone lock, you just press and hold it to unlock. Or if you don't actually have that function turned on and you wish to lock and unlock the phone yourself when you want, you just basically press and hold it and as you can see, it's locked, can't do nothing. Now you just press and hold it again, and it's now unlocked. And now you can start dialing a number or accessing your menus. On the side here, you also got a torch button. Again, this is another nice feature. Uh, you basically press and hold it, and you return on a bright LED light at the top of the fan. As you can see, it is quite bright, especially in the dark. This is handy if you're coming back anywhere from the dark and you need to unlock your house. Have your trouble finding your key hole, get your phone out, turn it on, and you can easily see your key hole. And again, you just press and hold it to turn the lights off, or wait around 20 seconds and it will automatically turn itself off. Uh, another function on this phone and a dedicated key is this, which is a emergency function key, which I will come back to you and explain more about this key uh, later on. Uh, the last thing you get in the box, apart from your manuals of course, is this, which is another nice thing that Doro is included, which is a neck uh, loop. So this allows you to hang your phone around your neck. And I was really impressed to see uh, Doro include this and it was a bit of a actually a shock to see it in the uh, box itself so yeah I did like that. On the handset itself you also got uh, buttons A, B and C. Now these buttons here is speed dial keys so what you do is you set up a number to A, B and C and all that you got to do then is press and hold either A, B or C and it will call that number that you've set. So again, that's another nice feature. So you've got three SB dial keys there. Uh, as you can see, all the keys are backlit and it is a really bright backlit display. Even the color display is nice and bright, which again, you can change the brightness in the settings. Now we go into your menu, again, it's a nice crystal clear display, easy menu and easy to navigate. You've got your phone book, where you can basically add different contacts and each contact 
can have three different telephone numbers listed for that particular contact. So you can store your home, your mobile and your office. And you can store around about 900 contacts in this uh, memory with uh, obviously each contact having three different numbers. Uh, from the uh, phone book you can also uh, call your contact and select which number you like to dial for that contact. Then we have uh, messages, which is where you write and read your text messages. You have your call log. Uh, this displays uh, the calls that you've had received and also the calls that you have personally dialed yourself. Then we have calendar. Again, you can add tasks in the calendar. You've got calculator, where you can do some sums if you so wished. Then you've got settings. Uh, in the settings itself, you can select uh, three different themes, which are which have been optimized for those visually impaired, which is again another nice feature of this phone. Uh, you can also change stuff like your wallpaper, uh, your ringtones, your messaging tones, alert type, and your volume control. Which, if we show you the volume control, and you will see that the volume on this. It's nice and loud, as you just seen. So again, really, really good on the uh, on the volume control. And again, if you have a call, it also vibrates as well. Plus, you can also put it onto speakerphone. Uh, also, in your uh, settings is where you can set up the emergency function, as I explained earlier on, about the function key. Now the emergency function is where you set up a pre-written text message and up to six phone numbers. Then once you activate the emergency button at the back by pressing it twice quickly, it will uh, start to make a high pitch loud sound. Then you will send that pre-written text message to the six phone numbers that you programmed in and then it will also start to call the six phone numbers one at a time until somebody eventually answers their phone or until you actually cancel it yourself. So I think this is a brilliant function that uh, Doris has added into the, uh, the Doris uh, phone, Easy Phones. I think it's an actually brilliant function they've done. Uh, I can't remember seeing that function on on any other mobile phone off the top of my head at least anyway so yeah I was really impressed with that function I, I really do think it'd be handy you yeah, know especially for the elderly people uh, overall this phone is it's just great I, I do recommend this phone to to the to the elderly people out there it's a good looking easy to use easy to nav navigate mobile phone and it's absolutely a winner in my book um, so yeah, I'd like to thank the PR team for sending me this to review. I do appreciate it. And uh, like I said, I do recommend this phone big time. Well, that's it for me. And as always, you can follow me over on www.geekstech.co.uk, twitter.com forward slash for geekstech, and we're on youtube.com forward slash geekstech, facebook.com forward slash geekstech, and one iTunes podcast account now, yes right, we've got an iTunes podcast account over at podcast.geekstech.co.uk and if you have any questions or queries on this or anything else to do with technology and gadgets please do send me an email at wayne at geekstech.co.uk That's it for me and until the next time I will see you later.